Hey everybody, so this research paper is called Harnessing the Universal Geometry of Embeddings, and I'm not going to say it, I'm just going to read through the abstract. We introduced the first method for translating text embeddings from one vector space to another without any paired data, encoders, or predefined set of matches. Our unsupervised approach translates any embedding to and from a universal latent representation. For example, a universal semantic structure conjectured by the platonic representation hypothesis. Our translations achieve high cosine similarity across model pairs with different architectures, parameter counts, and training data sets. The ability to translate unknown embeddings into a different space while preserving their geometry has serious implications for security of a vector databases. No kidding. An, adver an adversary with access only to embedding vectors can extract sensitive information about the underlying documents sufficient for classification and attribute inference. Man, if only someone had pointed this out like a year ago plus. So text embeddings are the backbone of modern NLP, powering tasks like retrieval, RAG classification, and and clustering. There are many embedding models trained on different data sets, blah, blah, blah. The platonic representation hypothesis, I've gone over the platonic representation hypothesis related to this in about 25 videos on my channel. Again, I'm not going to say the words explicitly in this video because I've said them so many times at this point. Like, uh, if I come across with a certain amount of uh, angst around this, go F yourself is the bottom line around that. Like, flat out. Like, if you think that, like, man, this guy is, is like, uh, kind of, like, a little bit upset over over this? Yeah, I'm a little bit upset over this. This So this paper is put out by Cornell University, Harnessing the Universal Geometry of Embeddings. I mean, if only someone had written books about this, if only someone had made uh, about a hundred videos about this, if only someone had made and published lots of papers about this, if only someone had been talking about this for about two years now, if only someone had taken so much criticism over this, it isn't even funny, right? But so uh, here we are. Now it's Cornell University, not my words that I'm speaking on on this. And then here you go, shove it, do whatever you want with it. I mean, it's it's like I mean, it's literally everything that I've been saying for two years. Like I can't say it enough. Like I mean, this, these people obviously, I think they've watched my videos because they're breaking it down literally the exact way that I break it down. And I'm not going to say the words again. Like, the one thing I'm not going to do in this video is say those words, right? But so uh, going through, here's their method, their method, their optimization, their adversarial loss, their experimental setup. Etc. Uh, essentially, I mean, what they like the bottom line of this, like I can't state it enough, right? Like the the um, scientist from Jurassic Park is my idol in this, uh, flat out. Like society is so effed, so boned, it isn't even funny. Like so much ego goes went into this. I I can't even help but sit back and just laugh, 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 laugh. Like and 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 like uh, every time someone comes in in ego with this, all I do is laugh at that person like I mean so here we are uh, here's your ego here's everything like all, like every single security measure that you have ever built into these models gone evaporated doesn't exist here we go Brian like uh, because it's all human constructs bro, bro just use simple philosophy like if you would actually listen to the philosophy bro the philosophy bro tried to break it down to you but you you had to have that ego and you just couldn't do it right you couldn't listen to the philosophy bros and then so uh, here we are. The philosophy bros broke it down to you mathematically. <laughs> like, I mean, uh, this concept isn't new. Like, uh, if you understand, like, if you actually, like, take yourself, take your ego outside of these things and actually follow the lines of, of philosophy to physics, this conclusion's here. I mean, I, I've made videos on it uh, for about a year now, right? Check out anything that I've made regarding torque clustering. Uh, this, the, like, this uh, embeddings and, and this latent representations, what we're looking at here, like, uh, uh, this is, <laughs> uh, I, I've shown you this. It's called K for this neighbors, right? Um, and then, so, look up my video on K for this neighbors. Look up a, a ton of my videos on K for this neighbors. At this point, like, I don't see any point in showing the code again and again and again uh, around this particular topic. I've done it enough now. Like, uh, And then so uh, buy one of my books if you want to, to get more in depth into this. If you're looking for someone that actually knows this, that that, that uh, has been studying this for, let's call it three plus years now, hey, I, I'm your bro. <laughs> like, I, I, I mean, uh, like, you know, like uh, there were people 100% willing to call me crazy over this. And then so here we are, uh, the strong platonic representation hypothesis. Man, look at those words, the strong platonic representation representation hypothesis. If only someone had the foresight to literally frame it 
literally call it the platonic representation hypothesis. Who would have done that before, man? Who would have framed these things regarding platonic representations? Who would have had that thought, that foresight, and, and to understand the philosophy and attach it to the physics of these things? I don't know, man. So it would be someone crazy, right? Like, uh, here you go. Like, <laughs> uh, Welcome world, you're, you're everyone's boned. <laughs> like I, I don't know what else to tell you. Like uh, people should listen more and 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 have ego less. Like uh, I, I'll state my full opinions on this overall, right? Like to me, like this this it all goes to one hundred percent how the universe and the world operates and and how it's set up, right? Let me give you one large fact about how the world is set up and how the world operates. The average human IQ is an IQ of ninety, uh, which. Uh, isn't very high. That's the average, right? So, so if you're talking to someone on average, they're going to have an IQ of 90 and, and they're going to be making decisions about your life overall. And then whether or not you're right about harnessing the ge universal geometry of embeddings and that IQ of 90 isn't going to accept that this exists until it says Cornell University behind it. And then all of a sudden that IQ of 90 is going to flip that switch in their brain and then it's going to go boom. All like, okay, this is a recognized concept. So now here we are, right? <laughs> Prior to this, it's monkeys flinging poo. And then all of a sudden Cornell university says it that light bulb goes off in that 90 iq brain and then boom we're here and then so uh now here we are uh this is no longer a question we're in this world uh the, the world is pretty bone people i don't know how to how else to frame that to you the people that put this out to you lied to you <laughs> the people and the companies that are driving this they lied to you they don't know what they're doing they don't have any control over it anthropic put out a 120 page paper uh regarding uh all of their alignment strategies you can throw that out the window one million percent because it's all based off of the data, right? So uh, you're all like running Jurassic Park and, and in the Jurassic Park zoos. And I've been trying to tell you for, for two plus years now, don't put chaos theory into those things. Don't do it, bro. Uh, that's a big pile of poo that we're looking at. And the man, that's a massive the, the, the pile of poo is getting bigger and bigger. Uh, and then so here we are, T-Rex is just running around. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, cool. So <laughs> welcome to Jurassic Park, harnessing the universal geometry of embeddings. I'm not going to say the words overall, but if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you, Cornell University.